everybody. It's so great to see you again. Look right over here at the screen. Are you looking? Are you listening? You holding really still? Good. Today's bottom line is be blessed. Everyone say be blessed on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Be blessed. You guys are really beginning to be good at that. Oh man, I'll stop it eventually. You can believe me. <laughs> Anyways, today we're gonna to talk more of the blessings that Jesus talks about in his message known as the Beatitudes. First up is... Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. If you're a peacemaker, it means that you try to help others to get along and respect each other. That sounds like the type of person I wanna be, but being a peacemaker can be pretty tough sometimes. One of the best ways to be a peacemaker is to choose your words carefully or say nothing at all. God is a God of peace. He's all about unity, togetherness, not division. When we try to make peace, we become more and more like God. And soon we'll be known as children of God. That's one thing to remember guys, we are all children of God. He sees us all the same and equal. Everybody say, be blessed on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Be blessed. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness for theirs is in the kingdom of heaven. As Christians, we're called to live a different life than the rest of the world. At times, that might seem impossible, but nothing is impossible with God. And doing the right thing isn't always considered to be the popular thing to do. Some people may think you're weird for choosing the right thing when everyone else isn't, but that's okay. You can't control what others are thinking about you. We've got something way better to look forward to than whether or not someone thinks we're cool. God promises to bless us for making the right choices. He promises the best reward ever, living with Him in heaven forever. Everyone say, be blessed on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Be blessed. Blessed are you when people insult you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Great is your reward in heaven. There are times when people will say bad things about us because we love and believe in Jesus. When people are mean to us, it's probably because someone has hurt them at some point. And you know what? They're mad about it and still taking all of that hurt out on you. There's a saying about situations like that. Hurting people hurt people. And when you think about it, it makes sense. When we're mistreated or lied about, we should respond with love and let God fight our battles for us. If someone teases you because you're a Christian, remember that God will bless you greatly in heaven someday. Everyone say, be blessed on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Be blessed. Awesome job there. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. See, we have these two magnets here. This is what it's like when we don't have peace in our life. See, we're, we're fighting each other. We're, oh, come back, give me my stuff. No, I'm not giving you your stuff. I want more food. No, give me some of your food. See, they can't come together. As you can see, they're like magnets. They're pushing against each other. They're pushing each other, they're fighting. It's like a war. Ah. But Jesus calls us to more than that. When, see, when we include peace in our lives, because we are called to be peacemakers, we are able to come together. See, there may be people in our lives that it's hard to do that for, right? They might be angry at us, and there might be some tension in there in their relationship, but we are called to be peacemakers. And when we are, and we live that out, you see, we can have peace in those relationships here. And that's exactly what Jesus calls us to. Jesus spoke all these blessings over the lives of the people listening to him that day. Those same blessings are for us too. God's greatest gift, his greatest blessing to us was his son, Jesus Christ. God gave his one and only son to be a living sacrifice. When Jesus died on the cross for us, it allowed us to have a direct relationship with God. When you accept Jesus as the one who saved you, you get to live with him in heaven forever. Now that's what I call being blessed. Everybody say, be blessed on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. Be blessed. It was so awesome to hang out with you guys today. We'll see you next time.